Pittsburgh CISD Distance Learning. Student Login for Google Classroom. Begin by first visiting the Edinburgh CISD Distance Learning Center. On the right-hand side, you'll see a blue menu. Toward the very bottom, you will see Reset Password. Select it from the menu. You will then be directed to another page. Select the blue Reset button that is located at the top. Now let's figure out what is your Edinburgh CISD email. So the way you determine what your Edinburgh CISD student email is, you must first type in your initial from your first name, the initial from your last name, and then your student ID. And you type it all together at the beginning of the at sign. Your domain is student.ecisd.us. Each of you will have your very own unique user ID or email address. After you've configured it or figured it out, then select the submit button. You will then be directed to a page to fill in your reset password information. Type in again your first initial, your last initial, and the ID number, followed by at student.ecisd.us, type in your regular student ID, and type in your two-digit month, two-digit day, and two-digit year, and then select Submit. Now you are ready to create a new password. Look at the password requirements that are listed under the red box. Following the requirements of a password, type in your new password here and confirm the password there, then select Submit. So you will be given a countdown about three seconds and then be directed to this page. So you are directed, redirected to this page in case you're still having technical issues. If you're not having any technical issues at all, then you can navigate away from this page or close it. So now you have successfully figured out and learned your student email and a password, which you will need for the next half of logging in into Google Classroom. Those steps you will only need to do once. So now that you've figured that out, you will now open a browser in the web address box type classroom.google.com you will be directed to and prompt you to sign in using your google account the email address that you configured or discovered in these steps previous to this screen will be the email that you type in in this box so the example that I had earlier was M O one two three four five six. Now this is just an example of a first initial, a last initial, and a six-digit student ID, followed by student.ecisd.us. After you've typed in that email, then select next. There are a couple of things here that I want you to note. At the very top, it'll say hi, and then it'll give you the first name as it appears in Skyward. Then it's going to ask you to enter your new reset password. Now, this password is the one that you just created in the previous steps. Question that you might have, will I need to reset my password every single time? No, you will only need to reset it once. And now you are ready to engage Google Classroom. This is your Google Classroom dashboard. Welcome to Google Classroom. Thank you.